don't know I think I've started all over again I accidentally hit the wrong button so that is adorable we've gone from plain white on our birdhouse and now I'm going to tackle the roof and uh, I'll be right back and we're doing image transfer onto wood using plain old very simple ADGSM plain old copy paper from an inkjet printer and we're putting a face down with just one coat of gel medium matte okay just in case I can't combine the two videos this will be part two probably so back in a minute right so I went ahead and I've done one section of the roof and that is a divine I love that so when we get some when we get some acrylic uh, sealant on that that will all come hopefully nice and <laughs> nice and bright again so now I'm just going to do the other one and I'm going to put some water on and sometimes sometimes the paper does peel away and you can see the white acrylic but there's always a way to fix that we can go in with a bit of acrylic paint before we um, you can see how that's rolling back in one look at that that's coming off nicely or you can even pull it which is nice and I'll be back when that is done good morning everybody welcome back to 18 Monday Street journals I'm Di and today we're going to be putting a fancy digital print this one's from Paperomia and this one's from Paperomia and we're going to cover a cute little wooden uh, birdhouse now I could just cut out the paper and adhere it onto the wood what would be the fun in that right no 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 I want to transfer this image done from an inkjet printer on very cheap photocopy paper onto my little pieces of wood which I've primed with gesso and then some just some plain white acrylic paint and here's some that I've done earlier they're a bit dull but when we cover these with um, acrylic paints they will be lovely and they're just beautiful digitals printed out on my inkjet printer as I've said and I've just cut them to size and it's just so so easy so let's do let's do one the last piece together which is part of the roof and so I want the uh, ivy on the roof and that was a freebie actually the print is a freebie on Paperomia Facebook page so if you haven't already joined you better get over there there's some wonderful papers and I think this is the springtime collection which is they're just a few little pieces I've still got hanging around from one of my design team projects so all we are going to do now that's the base and I so I don't need to do that so that's good and this is that all I am going to do is I'm going to cut this out I've reduced this from A4 to A5 oh, about 60% redu reduction I think I'm just going to cut it out please hit that like button my YouTube algorithm really needs you if you're watching this hopefully you've subscribed already thank you and hello to everybody welcome back uh, but please even my subscribers hit that like button won't you because that's what tells YouTube uh, what it needs to know and it would help me out with my with my algorithm 
whatever that is <laughs> now okay let's get back to this now I'm using gel medium matte medium which is just a cheapy one this one and a paintbrush and I'm going to paint this on my piece of wood I'm going to put it straight on you could also use I've done this with Mod Podge and it is a lovely uh, a lovely medium to work with as well now the trick with this is I mean you could leave it a long time to dry if you wish but you don't need to I think a couple of five minutes in this heat um, all we just want to do is get the nice image off the printer paper face down onto this and then excuse my hands and nails it's all dye it's not dirt <laughs> and I'm just going to put it face down onto the paper oh, I should have probably I should have traced around that first why didn't I do that oh, can I do it now this is this is how you craft by the seat of your pants <laughs> Okay, we'll just it'll be easier if I just cut it out and also if I just can manage to cut out those. Too busy talking. Okay. doesn't matter this one um, this is kind of showy chic I feel so it's not perfect nothing is perfect it always looks better if it's not perfect just make sure there's no glue on the on the back side a little bit of I'm going to cut those two little holes out Okay, I've cut those two little holes out. And then I'm going to put oh, face down, face down, face down, face down. Like that. And take a card. We just don't want any air bubbles. Got to be gentle. It's got some. Be nice and gentle. There we go. Now I'm going to leave that for five minutes, which will be long enough, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to rub the paper off. Well, actually, while we're doing that, why don't I put the top coat onto these? Now what am I going to use for a top coat? Um, I could use another coat of the gel matte medium. Couldn't I? That would be smart. Okay, I was thinking of using some furniture paint. Uh, I do have a lot left over. I, I used to dabble in furniture painting. I'd put gold leaf on my little furniture pieces and jewelry and um, then I broke my back and that became difficult 
so I don't do that anymore I do this instead okay so there's still a bit of you can see the where there's a little bit of paper but if I start going down any further that will come away and I don't want it to come away so this should bring out the color I'm hoping We'll seal it nicely. Yeah, so the story is with this uh, little birdhouse. I was in the op shop and there was a pack of what I thought was just a little little squares of uh, wood, and I thought, well, they'll come in handy for something, something, something. So I bought them fifty cents, and when I got home, I discovered it was a put put it together little birdhouse. It's so cute. So then, of course, I had to put it together. And then I thought, oh, how am I going to decorate it up? See, that looks so sweet. I mean, look at that. Isn't that pretty? not it's not perfect so yeah the transfer technique is really good because uh, especially for wood and furniture you can seal it in with all kinds of beautiful products you don't need to buy really expensive IOD designs I mean some of them are beautiful and yeah if you had a really gorgeous piece But um, you can do just as beautiful things with just digital papers off your inkjet. And um, some people say, oh, no, you need a laser printer. That's no, you don't. You definitely do not. This works. This works well, I reckon. I mean, we can transfer onto sticky tape. I mean a substrate of wood is really nice so I love that okay we'll do this one by the time I just put this on all of these it'll be time to take the paper off so it's not going to be a and then we'll assemble the birdhouse and you'll see how beautiful it is and I'll decide whether I want to add any bling to it. That is adorable. Pop that over there to dry. Then this little one. These are sweet papers. These are, these are all from Paper Romeo. Now they've got, uh, they did have an Etsy shop. They still do, but I think it's on hold for the moment due to technical difficulties. So this uh, kit will be available on their Kofi site so I'll pop that in the description box and don't forget the Paper Romeo Facebook site I'll put that down below as well where they are so generous like they've got freebies from every kit I think and there's some beautiful flower florals really nice okay we'll pop that over there and then this one I love I love this I love how this turned out So that will seal that and protect it. If it was going to go outside, I'd probably coat it in something weatherproof. Um, I do have a back veranda. I don't know whether I'll keep this or whether I'll gift it or whether I'll sell it. I'm not sure. Now you can see there where I've, a little bit's been eroded around there, but I'm okay with that. That, that really adds, I think, to a little bit of shabby chic. A little bit of torn is okay. So the trick is to use the um, uh, cheap, the really cheap 80 GSM photocopy paper. 
and just your inkjet printer maybe you can increase the um, the density you can see there a little bit has come away from there a little bit has come away from there but when this is dry I will come over with some nice green paint and I'll just I'll just fill in those little holes if I want to or not I'm not sure yet okay so where do we go oh yes let's have a look at this I wonder if that's dried enough I don't want to get too excited but you can always sand it off and start again can't you so all we're going to do is you can see I made a mess of this one on the back but as it's going to be inside the birdhouse I thought I'll just scrape it off and I'll start again on the other side so yeah that'll be sanded back but it'll be there's a little bit of overhang of paper there so we'll just trim that off it's all paper right no rules there that's better okay right now it still feels a bit feels a bit dampish to me I might come back in a minute okay let's let's do this oops oh that was a good thing to see before it dried and okay hands yeah so have a go have a go won't you play with it and see what and see what um, see what happens I thought the roof might be lovely with the vines okay so we're gonna get a bit of water I'm going to spray some off the side. I like to just put it on my fingers so that I don't overwater. And then just start in an area. And just lightly rub. What we want is just the top white backing and hopefully the ink has been absorbed into the gel matte medium and then you just you can see how some pieces can you just you can just go like that look at that that's great that saves a lot of time there we go just so satisfying it's sort of like a meditation which is nice calming and soothing 
I should do it like we should do a meditation while we're doing it. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. This is going to look so pretty. Can't wait. Yeah, so you can't be too heavy handed with this. Just takes time and patience. We should have some nice music playing. Oops. That's now that's taken it off on that corner. Very, very careful. Or as Bugs Bunny would say, be very, very careful. <laughs> Wabbit season. Oh dear. There's a transfer technique is a really good thing to have. You can make all kinds of things with wood. I think I might do some um, some transfers onto the sticky tape probably tomorrow so stay tuned for that one well this is going to be very long if I continue to let you watch so I'm just going to put you uh, on hold just keep your breathing deep breathing <laughs> I'll be back in a minute 